Hi folks, this is his dad. Welcome back. And over here I've got the Gil Hibben Fighter Number no. Three. I, I don't know what you're gonna call it. Uh, this is uh, from United Cutlery. Gil Gil Hibben's very famous uh, in the knife making world uh, because when you get one of his knives, you, you get the sheath, you get the knife. And in many cases, uh, the sheath is at least a third of the price. If I move my puppies in the background. Um, but a third of the price usually is just for the sheath. Okay, so take everything that I'm saying here into consideration uh, when you hear this, uh, my outcome of this video. Uh, the reason for this video is I had bought uh, a knife from Wild Turkey Handmade a few, almost about a year and a half ago. Uh, and it is oddly similar to this knife in so many ways that you have to say one copied the other or the other copied, the, you know, vice versa. But in my opinion, what I think happened was is that the knife came out from Gildhibben and United Cutlery, let's see, they'll have their name here somewhere United Cutlery um, beat them out and when I show you this knife I want you to wait through it this video to see it um, it is a fantastic knife and if you like these type of videos where I buy you know an original and compare it to to a copy um, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button I really could use your help. Uh, these aren't cheap. So this one right here, you get this one. Um, it is from United Cutlery, a Gil Hibben. Uh, it's 420 stainless steel. It's 13 inches overall. Comes in at $82.99, okay? $82.99. Let's take a look at what you get. Uh, wow. Um, on the back of this box, I was hoping to find information about the knife. Instead, I got to find out that Gil Hibben has a black belt in uh, all these different... Uh, what is that? Kempo Karate, uh, martial arts over here. Uh, very versatile man, okay? Lived in Alaska. Now, you know, he's from Kentucky. I got to hear all these wonderful things about this man, uh, Gil Hibben. Um, wow, what a, what a cool guy. But I didn't get to find anything about the knife. So I had to go to the website. And when I was looking at the website, this is what I find out, okay? 13 inches overall. It's a fighter fixed blade. They call it the Rambo 3 full tang, eight inch blade, five inch wood handle. Wow, okay, so let's take a look. Uh, and in true his dad fashion, let's take a look at the, at the sheath first, okay? So uh, just in case your friends are Sylvester, uh, you can tie this to your leg. Uh, that's awesome, thanks Gil. Do some push-ups with it, you know, tied to your body. Um, that's awesome, maybe. Maybe work this out to fit on your gi while you're doing your uh, martial arts. Um, but anyway, uh, awesome guy. Um, let's see what that says. Hibben 3. Uh, nice. Okay, cool. Very thick. You know, it's almost the size of my finger. Um, very nice. I'd say $35, $40. Easy. Which would leave you to a $40, $45 knife. Um, wow. It is beautiful, folks. Come on now. That's very thick leather. It's not going anywhere. <sighs> I do like this stuff, okay? So, when you talk about Gil Hibben, uh, at least he does try to give you something for your, for your buck. Um, what do you got here? You got a very nice sharp knife. Beautiful. It says Hibben 3. Uh, Hibben stamped in there, designed by, okay, with the signature, sharp as hell blade. I kid you not, that knife blade is sharp. Um, as, as should United Cutlery be putting out a sharp blade. Um, the stifling, stifling, stifling. Um, plus you got your line right here to, uh, I, we used to call that the bloodline. Um, not part, you know, it would go all the way down here to help, you know, cause, uh, the vacuum to go out or help the vacuum, you know, not be created. Um, so you could get your knife out when you were working with stabbing motions. Um, clip point, very nice. What do I give this? I give this a 10 out of 10 as far as quality. 
Um, you know, and you get that all the time with him. You're not going to get a bullshit product. But if you're going to beat the shit out of it, I don't know uh, how long it's going to last. Uh, this is usually where the, everything is connected down. Um, now, the, he calls it a full tank, so I don't know if if they just beat out, uh, you know, the connecting point right here, or if it's a rack tang, which is still, I don't, you know, I call it a weaker full tang, if you're gonna call it a full tang. Uh, what do you got here? This is a very beautiful knife. It's beautiful in the hand. It's about the right size, okay? If you're gonna, if you're gonna pick a knife, you don't want something too big, too long. You want something that you can work with, uh, and this is workable. Um, your, your guards here, they're very nicely placed. Um, you could have a bigger hand than mine. You could have a smaller hand than mine. And I believe you're going to do just fine. Okay, so that being said. Okay, so folks, we're six minutes in. We've been looking at the Gil Hibben knife. Uh, and and we, we, we have a good sense of what we got here. So let's place that in a hand. Okay, now... Please like, uh, subscribe, comment if you uh, do like these things or if you own some of these things. And if you think I'm full of crap and you don't like some of the things I'm saying about it, uh, let me know. All right, now this is from Wild Turkey Handmade. We've oiled it. Always keep it oiled, so you're going to see some oil leaking through there. But with it, you get a, a sheath that is relatively as, you know, nice if... if well, yeah, okay, so you got some waterproof in here. But, uh, I, you know, the coloration there makes me let me think that there's some light there. But, yeah, you're getting a very large sheath, okay? And uh, just like them, it's very high quality. Maybe this one's a little higher quality. But with that, folks, this is the first one I got right here, okay? Beautiful sheath. Okay, now the knife, awesome knife. It's got a little bit of rub in there from uh, going in and out of the sheath on the, but I love this knife and it looks so much like this knife in almost every way. I'd say it's like the junior to it. Just a bigger nut on the end there. Almost got the handles to match up. Uh, you know, I mean, it's quite the same knife in most ways. Now, I repeat, this was $82.99. This is $39.99, still available right now on Amazon. It's so big, it barely fits in my frame. Now this one here, folks, this is 16.5 inches overall, 11 inch high carbon steel, 420, uh, you know, blade. It comes with a 5.5 wood handle. It's an awesome knife in the hand. Uh, it feels great. Uh, it's got all that cool uh, stuffling right there. Um, just like the other one. Got that little notch cut out in there. It's just not as beautiful, but they call this handmade in Pakistan. Um, and I think it's pretty. I think it is. It feels just like that one. But for the price of this one, I could get two of these. Now I ask you if it feels good in the hand. The handles are, you know, quite quite similar blades are quite similar you know when you ask me 82.99 over 39.99 we start having a mathematical equation of problem folks and so I I, I, uh, I appeal to you to please put it into the comments I have a lot of Gil Hibben um, I love their quality, but I also understand that they're either made in Pakistan or China, um, right along, right alongside of this one. Um, so for the price, do you want a bigger knife? Do you want a smaller knife? I do believe that this is a little bit more functional as far as what you're going to be able to use. Um, this is a little bit more, um, you know, bulky, but 
I love it. I love that one too. So I'll leave it to you folks in the comment. What, what kind of knife do you want to see next? Uh, what do you prefer? Bigger? That's not smaller. I, I hate to say that, but you know, come on. Where, where's this a small knife? Um, but which one do you like better? $82.99 for the Yohibbin or the uh, Wild Turkey Handmade, uh, which could be here tomorrow. If you order it today, before like 2 p.m., you get it tomorrow, uh, $39.99. Uh, this one right here, $82.99 takes about a week, and they don't give you a definite date until the day before when it's gonna show up. And it shows up in this box. And this one here shows up in the same type of box. Both have great sheets. This one's a little bit nicer. But, you know, does, does that matter at the end of the day? Maybe it does. Let me know in the comments. All right, folks, this is Dad. I love you. And uh, no, I did not get paid by any of these people in any shape or form. There's no link in the description to, uh, you know, put, put my code in. So please help me get to that point, folks. I'd love to get to the point where I can tell you, you know, and add his dad in the code and get the discount. That would be fantastic if, if I could get to that point. All right, folks, I love you. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video. Bye-bye now.